Hey everyone, this is Kaiju Hunter here, and today we are playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, I've actually played quite a bit through this game, but uh, it's been a very long time since I've played it. So I need to <laughs> restart, and what a better reason to record than restarting a brand new game. Personally, this is a amazing game absolutely loved it i'm not a very big zelda fan my brother is the major zelda fan but this game in particular is amazing and no reason why it didn't win the uh game of the year awards i think that was i think it was as soon as the switch came out it was like masterpiece 10 out of 10 Best game ever. No one really disagreed. Uh, open up your eyes, Lonk. Lonk, open your eyes. So we got a uh, strapping young Link in some uh, blue ooze. And very This was, for me, the main reason why you would buy a Nintendo Switch. You know, Pokemon's coming out, Monster Hunter's on it, Mario's always on it. But, I mean, for a sole purpose to buy the game, it would be this. I mean, if you were going to drop $300 on a system, this game would be pure reason why. I mean, it's just, it's a fantastic looking game. Do, 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 do. I don't think I need to, I probably need to look at controls, but I'll do that later. That is a Sheikah Slate. The Sheikah Slate. Take it. Give me my iPad. Take it after my long slumber. Well, just give it to me then. The boy needs some clothes, because uh, I think it's cold in there. Mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because you've been reincarnated 50 million times. That's really cool. You've got a temperature meter. You also have a volume meter. So there should be a... Okay, that's how I pull up the... Calling. Try and reach for a weapon that's not there. Reach. So, typical... Open up the chest. Oh, I got some pants. Alright. But maybe I want to stay naked forever. I got a shirt. So I can have a whopping two defense. What else we got here? I don't think you actually get anything just right here just because it's wake up, move on type thing. But I mean, this world is just so much going on. I mean, it's one of those games that you could literally run straight to Ganon and beat the game within 30 minutes if you're some crazy hardcore player. Or you could spend the next 100 hours playing this game and discovering all the secrets as this world has to offer. I mean, it definitely is a great open world game. Crazy massive. Oh. Sweet. Is this Kingdom Hearts? Come on. Go save Hyrule like always. Do it. It's the only purpose you have in life. 
besides everything else. So let's take a quick look. But you can see we've got some stuff that yeah, we don't have access to. We've got some rag clothes. The boy can run. The boy can jump. The boy can climb. I mean, there's an actual mapped button to jump. First time ever. If anybody's ever played a previous Zelda game, you know that you actually had to roll or run to an edge to make him actually jump. You didn't really have a controlled jump. But now, climbable, you can have an energy bar. Uh, cooking is a lot of fun in this game. So basically, we're on Tutorial Island. Where we have to do some basic stuff to get used to what the whole world's going to be. Because as soon as you leave this area, it is crazy. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a stick. Excellent. Now we got a weapon. And you can cycle through the backpack system. It like pauses the game real quick while you do it. Uh, mushrooms, delicious. A lot of this game is searching for things. Oh, I badly damaged my branch. There's like so much that goes on in this game alone. Is just insane. Oh, there's more mushrooms. So, as you can see, you can just kind of go and do things. I mean, it's a really pretty game. And there's a lot of. Oh, there was a bug. So another thing that you can do is sneak up on things. Because you need all these things like, uh, what's a good way to describe this? Um, I don't really want to compare it to it, but Skyrim? I mean, it's, you think of alchemy. Everybody's played Skyrim. Everybody loves Skyrim. You probably own more than one copy of Skyrim because, I mean, why not? So there's a lot of things that exist like bugs oh because it's playing Fortnite. you get bugs lizards I mean there's so much in this game to explore and learn and try and I mean it's just it's a lot to take in really when you're first playing the game but I mean it's crazy fun and it really is a beautiful game I mean, I'll probably gush out the art style and the colors and just how fun the game is in general. Alright, so this is kind of like an early on thing here. But a lot of the world is you can interact with it. So you'll see that that's good use. I mean, there's a boulder. You can push it. It rolls down the hill. Oh. No, I don't want to. I'm exploring the world right now. Leave me alone. Alright, I'll look at the Sheikah's Lake. Alright, so I need to go from here to right over here. So, bye. Main quest. Oh, man, there was another beetle there and I messed up. You gotta sneak up on these things. Was that a lip? That's oh, a butterfly. Yoink. But I mean, you'll need all these things to make potions, uh, healing stuff. I mean, like, for example, we run and we jump and we're climbing on the wall, right? And as you're doing this, you're running out of stamina. And of course, fall damage is a jack wagon. So unless you can find like a little ledge just like that to kind of stop yourself and regain stamina, you're going to fall to your death. Let's see. If I remember right, there's a little trick we can do before we talk to this guy. Let's take his apple. Oh. Calling you out for your blameless stealing, but, I mean, in the world of Legend of Zelda, you break into people's houses and you break their pots and you take their money. I mean, Link is no stranger to stealing. Who are you? 
old mon. Wow, Link is really asking those special questions. Uh, Great Plateau, Birthplace of Hyrule, blah, blah, blah. Alright. And I mean, just look at the scenery. It's just... You're like, yeah, this is game. It's the Temple of Time. Or at least I presume it's the Temple of Time. It makes me think it is. To set things on fire. Oh, there's lock on. I'm going to have to remember all these buttons, otherwise I'm really going to mess up. Boop. The woodcutter axe. So actually, if we go and... Let's see, what are we looking at here? If we go and take this, ignite it, and then cook the apples. There we go. A cooked apple heals more than a regular apple. Let's see. And if we switch to the woodcutter's axe, we can chop down the tree if we want to. I mean, there's really a crazy amount of stuff you can do in this game. It's insane. And if you take you can actually like build bridges and stuff like that but if you go and destroy what you just chop down it makes a bundle of sticks so you can have a campfire I mean it's just there's just so much going on play it as a let's play uh, it's probably gonna be like a million episodes because I'm not a very good Zelda player I get distracted easily uh, goals really aren't heavy in this game to me. It's just like, all right, let's go do stuff. Oh, uh, there's something. So, okay, I didn't need you to do that. No, let go of that. Let's see. For anybody who hasn't played the game, there are little secrets, and you can kind of tell just by looking, that that looks a little suspicious. I mean, that's a weird circle, right? Video game knowledge says jump to it. So there's a weird Kikori people. And they give you stuff. So it's real nice for that. As you can see, you can drown if you don't get to land. You run out of energy. Let's pull the Not Master Sword out. To throw weapons. So, uh, when you get the warning that your weapon is about to break, if you chuck it, it'll do a mess ton of damage. But we want some fish. Am I right? It's going to be a pain in the butt to try and catch these guys. I don't think... Never mind, I caught one. Got the other one. I'm gonna run out of stamina doing this though. And drowned. Um, that looks very breakable. That's another thing in the world of Zelda. Walls that look like they can be broken tend to be breakable. These are our big baddies right here. Let's just go ahead and steal all their broken parts while we have the chance. I believe it's used later on in making special weapons because everything in the game breaks except for... Uh-oh. Yoink! I'm going to take your weapon so you don't have anything. Ha! Disarm the opponent. 
of the ragdoll physics are beautiful. And now I got uh, Boko. Uh, he's kind of like a Moblin. Boko Blin, I guess is. I don't know. I'm going to have to get my brother to tell me how to pronounce these things. But I believe that you use the parts to make more weapons. Or repair weapons. But a lot of the things in this game break, unfortunately. You gotta... <laughs> Nothing's gonna last forever, so you better not get attached to anything. Unless it's the Master Sword and Shield. So we're here in the Temple of Time. Ooh, a chest. Here in the Temple of Time. Um... Oh, sweet. We just got a bow. Oh, that's beautiful. Now I got a quiver and a bow on my back. Oh, this game. This game is everything you wanted it to be and more. What is that? Oh, it's just a bunch of arrows. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw a bug. <laughs> Can I get those? No, they're too small. So, let's see here. Here's an angel. I believe this is one of the, um, what is it, the three goddesses? I can't remember each of their names. Fori? Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. That's another thing is i got to get used to these buttons. I've been playing Monster Hunter for so long. My run button is not <laughs> one of those shoulder pieces. So we can draw the bow. Oh, that's great. And then B puts it... Okay, that's good. Alright, so I don't waste any arrows. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've played this, so I know I'm going to be accidentally chucking things or ruining something. I'm supposed to be going to the beacon, but, you know... I kind of don't want to. There's so much to explore in just a tutorial level. It's immense. I mean, and this is just the tutorial. You can kind of see that there's like a wall around the place. And that's what's uh, keeping me inside. Grab this. Ooh, an ancient gear. So, there are shrines uh, located all over the place in this world. There's a whole bunch of them. You get these spirit orbs after completing a challenge in the shrine, and that will allow you, uh, after a certain amount of them, instead of collecting heart pieces, you just collect those, and they give you hearts. Or you can max out your stamina meter. So you can climb all the way up the mountain if you wanted. I know there's got to be a secret somewhere around here that I'm missing. That's just how the world of Legend of Zelda is. There's so many secrets. I'm going to climb up here and figure out. Well, there's a butterfly up there. So that's good for me. Let's see if I can get this butterfly. There's a big old bird over there. If I can see that bird, it must be big. Oh. Let's, uh... What is that? Just a regular little goblin dude? Um... Oh, see, that's bad shot. So I'm gonna have to... Take distance. Oh, the controls are so sensitive. Oh, seriously? Boom. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> I'm wasting all my arrows. Oh, no, he moved. Oh, I hit him. Okay, let's go down there and murder him. I only got three hearts, though, so I gotta be careful.
Oh, a frog. And more frogs? Oh no, they ran away. So as you can see with that frog, it was a hot-footed frog. So you go into, with the temperature gauge, you go into areas where you're going to need to dress warm or dress for cold temperatures or hot temperatures. I know you go to the volcano at some point, you know, you meet your, the Gorons, is it Gordons, oh, oh, I can pick my arrows back up, oh, that's so cool, excellent, and there's little sparklies to show me where the arrows go, okay, jump this, Oh, I can't climb all the way up there. Stops me. Okay. I was going to just hop the little fence and get over it, but I guess not. Um, but, like, the enemies get increasingly difficult, of course. I mean, as you progress, the game actually gets harder. Surprise. I just walked into this area for nothing. There must be something. Nope, I came here for nothing. Maybe something in the barrels. But, like, enemies will be different colors or have different things on them to... What? I wouldn't eat that. It's been in a, a barrel for who knows how long. Alright. So, let's see here. What's that on the... Oh, that's a steak. A jube jube. I remember these from uh, Wind Waker. Give me that jelly boy. If I remember right, for this game in particular, the jellies are actually used for um, coloring your clothes. You can get like a whole wardrobe thing going on this game is all about... Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted the apples. Did I knock the apple down? I don't see it. Oh, it's still on there. So if I put my weapon away and climb this tree, I should be able to get the apple. Oh, man. I guess it's coming down. The tree's got... Oh, he's hiding. I oh, know you heard me. Whoops. So, how about we go? We got too many branches, right? So let's lock on. Wamp. Oh, uh, there's just too many branches here. Wamp. Too many branches. Oh, was that your weapon, buddy? I'm sorry. Wham. The ragdolls are insane in this game. What's that? Oh, a fang. So it's Bokoblin. Bokoblin. Yeah. It's just a Boko. Let's see. Oh, I need the axe again. Because I'm sure I'm going to need all that wood. Oh, there's a branch, and there's the apple. Well, I'm going to end the video here, and we'll continue again. I mean, this is definitely a game that I want to be playing a lot of. I've neglected the game for a year, basically. And, yeah, we'll see where this goes. Thanks for watching.